Hey guys, my name is Akiba, and I'm going to do another little tutorial for the life in the woods. It seems that a lot of people are getting uh, many crashing issues when trying to install the game using my tutorial video. So I'm going to do everything step by step and do everything. This is going to be like the long version. The other one was less than five minutes long. I'm not sure this one will be. <laughs> so if, if you tried the quicker guide, uh, there'll be a link on the screen. If you click on that and try that, if that doesn't work for you, uh, you might be just missing a step or something, so come to this one, come back to this video and uh, give this version a try. So this time I'm going to be doing the basic version. Um, so I'm going to open up .minecraft, okay? I'm going to take my screenshots, my saves, and my uh, resource pack folders. I'm going to control C, or right click and copy, they both do the same thing. And I'm just going to put these into a different folder on my computer. This is on a separate drive. This is just backing them up. So I'm taking them out of the Minecraft folder so that they're completely safe. So whatever we do with the .minecraft folder, I know I have my saves here, my resource packs just so I don't have to keep downloading them, and all of my screenshots because I've got quite a few. I want to keep them safe. So back in the .minecraft file, which is how you, you know, you go to that by opening up Minecraft, going to texture packs, clicking on open the resource pack folder, sorry, and that'll take you here. What I'm going to do here, select everything and delete it all. Now my .minecraft folder is completely empty. All 3,000 files are gone. And then I'm going to open up the Minecraft launcher, the normal one you get from the website, I'm going to uh, open that up. You can see the files are starting to be created here. I'm going to type in my username and log in. See the profile? That's just what was created. If we hit edit, we want to be able to do 1.6.4. That's what the mod packs uh, is, is using, so that's what we need to use. So if we click on 1.6.4 and save the profile, we're going to hit play. Now, this will download Minecraft version 1.6.4 so that we can have all of our mods working correctly. So I'm just going to give it a second. I'm not going to do any fancy, you know, cutting out of the time or anything. Um, we're just going to wait for it to happen and let it do its thing. And hopefully, it'll, it'll take us to the Minecraft menu. There we go, so it's just closing that. There we go. So we're now on the Minecraft menu. As you can see, some extra folders have been created. Um, and we're on version 1.6.4. Okay. I'm going to hit quit game and close it out. And then I'm going to scroll down and we're going to do our downloads. These are the things that we're going to need. We're going to need whichever version of this we need. I'm going to get the basic one. So just one click on that and we'll start downloading it. We need Forge, which I'm going to open in a second tab. And we need WinRAR. If you Google WinRAR and go to this link, this will be in the description. If you then open up a second My Computer, right click on this PC and click on Properties. And here you'll see the system type, it will say 32 or 64. Mine says 64 bit. So this version here where it says WinRAR64, download it and install it uh, onto your computer. And that'll mean that the .zip files can be read correctly. The other thing we're going to download is Minecraft Forge. So scroll to the bottom, download this installer here. Just click it once. Uh, stay on the page. My thing's not working for some reason. My, my cookies aren't enabled. I don't know what that is. Basically, normally an advert plays here. Um, and in the top right, a countdown will start. Once that countdown is done, skip pad, keep. So now we have Forge and we have Life in the Woods. I'm going to put these on the desktop just like they are on the quick guide. We're then going to run the Forge by double clicking it, making sure it says install client and hitting OK. This will unpack Forge. 
get it all in the .minecraft folder. We can see this happening by actually looking on here. There we go, done. So we hit OK on there. We then launch up Minecraft again by using the launcher, just like last time. This time we'll have a profile called Forge ready for us. We have to click play again to use our account and hit play. And this will launch Minecraft 1.6.4 with the Forge enabled. And Forge is like a mod enabler. So now you see we have the mods button and we have Minecraft Forge is loaded here. These are our three Forge loading mods and we can now quick out, quit out of Minecraft. If you open up Life in the Woods Basic, uh, make sure you open it with WinRAR Archiver. It'll bring it up in WinRAR like this. And we can hit close on the Please Purchase WinRAR. In here, now that we've run it as Forge, you'll see you have a Mods folder. Open it up. Select all of the mods by either selecting them all like that or clicking one and doing Control A. And then just drag them over into the Mods folder like that. We then just, we can close out of that, that's fine. Open up the Minecraft Launcher again. And we're going to log into the Forge profile, hitting play. And it launches up. It does take a while. There we go, or well, compared to normal. Now you can see we've got 44 mods installed. And these are all our better storage mods, our chicken shed mod, wild caves, all of these are all in here. And they're all loaded, thanks to Forge. So now if we hit on single player and do a biomes are plenty world and create a new one, it'll create a world with all the new mod pack items included. So again, I'm not going to cut anything out, this is how it looks. So there we are, you can tell we're in the new mod. We've got a new flower right in front of our face and we're in this really odd biome. And there's horses. Oh wait, horses are normal. <laughs> so yeah, we can save and quit out of that. So now that's basically it. You've got the mod pack working and installed. We can quit out of that. There, there might be something else you want to do. Uh, maybe you want to install some shaders. I know I like to. Uh, if we open up... Um, Life in the Woods website once again. You can see the shaders mod and the vibrant shaders here. Open these two. So we have these two here. So this is the actual shaders mod. Again, we want 1.6.4. I'm just going to hit link one. It takes us to add fly again. Uh, it's a very popular thing so that the uh, developers can get a, they only get a small amount of money from the link, but at least they do, for, you know, for their work. And hit the download button there and click, uh, click keep. In Chrome, if you do Control and J, you'll open up this the downloads folder basically. And if you do a show in folder on there, this is the one I downloaded before and this is the one we just downloaded. I'm just going to do this one because it's got the right name. We're going to do copy and then we're just going to put it into our mods folder alongside all of these like that. Again, we are going to launch Minecraft one more time. Log in to the Forge profile. And you see this time we have the shaders mod installed as well. So there you go, you saw the shader packs folder be created here. So once again we can quit out. We're then going to download the Sildur's shaders, these are the ones that Fedrin used in her trailer, really nice. We have Vibrant Shaders 1.0.3 and Max as well and all these different options. Choose whichever one you want. I'm going to download the Max one by clicking on it. Again, take this to AdFly. I have Countdown. None of my AdFlies are working, I'm not sure why. Uh, but not complaining, it means that you don't have to hear them all through the video. Download this. It's a zip file. All we do with this zip file, it's treat it like a texture pack. So copy it. And then in your .minecraft folder, go into the shader packs, paste it in there. That's it. It's completely done. So we're going to launch the launcher one more time. Make sure we're logging into the Forge profile and click play. 
Minecraft will load up to the main menu once more. And from the main menu, we can click on mods. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> options, shaders. And we're going to choose the vibrant shaders here. Click done, done, and then go into your world again. And you'll notice that everything is beautiful. Look at that. So that is how you install Life in the Woods with the shaders that are used in the trailer. You can of course use any shaders that you find, um, but that's how to do it completely from scratch. So hopefully um, you won't have any problems installing it using it uh, this way. Um, because it is it is a good mod pack, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I might start a series on it, I've been thinking about it, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I really want you guys to be able to play it because it is good fun. It's very different to normal Minecraft. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Give me a like and all that business. Let me know if you got it working or not in the comments. And I will see you next time. Why are there so many horses?